All right, guys, you got the big dog here from Old School Smoked Meats. We are getting ready to head out to Rack's which is a chain similar to that of Arby's. Uh, I haven't been to one in 30 years. I'm rolling with Zach, my son-in-law, who loves racks. And like I said, I haven't been in 30 years. We're gonna try it out and do a comparison, talk about the comparison with Arby's and also um, what we like in barbecue. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna be smoked, but hey, who cares? It's, a, it's, it's an old school. school. That's right, it's old school. We're going and we'll update you on the trip. All right, guys, we're an hour and 25, hour and 30 minutes into our trip. We have made racks. Here's the sign. I uh, just wanted to show you guys we're in Ironton, Ohio. There's Zach. Hey, say hi, Zach. He's all excited. Like I said, he, he hasn't been to one since they closed one in West Union, Ohio, I don't know, about 2015. So it's been about 30 years for me, so we're going to head in. All right, guys, so we're here waiting for our mill which is rather large which we'll go through here in a little bit um, but wanted to show you local favor we're in ohio pete rose should be in the hall of fame got the jersey got all of his career records and everything on it i'm a big pete rose fan charlie hustle um you've got the hits king bat so there we go pete rose should be in the hall of fame in my opinion i'm sure there are people that disagree but too bad all right, guys, just a real quick shot of all the food laid out. This is our Harold and Kumar moment. We have driven an hour and 20 minutes, like I said earlier, to get racks. Uh, been 30 years for me, and um, there we go. We're getting ready to slam this stuff down. All right, Zach, since you're the racks guy, give me your honest opinion out of it. Tastes like home. Tastes like home. So, right. good. so I've got the same barbecue beef. You cannot get barbecue beef at Arby's. Uh, let's open up the sandwich a little bit so you can see it. Um, that is a big time failure on Arby's, in my opinion, because they used to have it. I'm going to take a quick bite here, like always. And you're going to have to hear me chewing, but you know, that's the way I do it. Oh, man. So you get a good, you get sauce on everything, which is loaded with sauce, which is great. Very tender, super tender. And you get just a little touch of smoke in it, actually. I didn't expect that. I, it's been a long time. I said it's been 30 years. So if you can find a racks, and you don't go get some barbecue beef, that's your own fault. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. Um, like mm -hmm. I said, you get served fries in a cup. I mean, how much better? This is, this is old school hometown place even though it was a chain you can tell it was a chain this chain was put together a long time ago and hadn't gone commercialized to the extent that everybody else has and just for the record everything you've seen on this table was $35 all right guys now we got some curly fries so we're going to do a comparison of those we all know that's a staple at these kind of restaurants so to give you my honest opinion of that um they actually taste more like real potatoes than what you get when you're at a when you're going through Arby's. They're a little thicker. You see Zach's got a nice curled up one, but they're a little thicker. They give you a better, more potato flavor. You know, the crust on the Arby's is a, quite a bit different. And I know I'm comparing them to Arby's, but that's the closest thing that I can come up with that you guys are going to know. But bottom line is, is we got a whole bunch of sandwiches here. We're going to knock these back. Um, this is... Um, my restaurant review of Rocks versus Arby's. Um, can't compare it to old school because you don't have a big smoker setting out back, but um, definitely worth the hour and 20 minute drive. Uh, if you like what you see, um, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing more reviews. Um, it's winter time here. We hit some pretty cold weather, so we'll be firing up that smoker here probably within the next couple of days and seeing what we got. Uh, Zach's last sandwich he wanted to throw out there was the um, bacon cheddar uh, roast beef sandwich uh, one of his staples from when he was a kid served on a big hoagie bun zach take a quick bite then we're gonna get out of here finish it off opinion real quick it hasn't changed at all hasn't changed in 30 years so there you go mm. if you get around the racks grab your barbecue beef or a bbc and knock it's it back good.